Next question, what is one show, movie, game, advertisement, or anything else that is poopable that you would love to see a YouTube poop of that you have never seen poop before? Well, a lot of video games don't really get uh, pooped that much because they're, the material is kind of hard to work with. You don't really have a... Uh, you don't really have any speech to work with. You just have the special effects and and that sort of thing. For movies, there's a lot of silly movies that I would like to uh, that I would like to see uh, remixed. I think just basically the, the, maybe the bad '80s movies would, would be really good, or even the popular '80s movies like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I mean, look at a vid you look at a movie like that, and there's tons of there's tons of fuck jokes. There's a couple. There, there may even be a couple of sexual innuendos in there, and the, and the movie's just plain silly to begin with. As for advertisements, oh God, I did see this commercial on TV that I can't remember that I would love to see somebody remix. I see commercials all the time, and I'm and I'm, I'm I watch them so often, and I'm just pooping them in my head, just think, thinking, what would that look like if it was remixed? <laughs> if I remember something, I'll let you guys know, but I can't think of it at the moment. If they made a YouTube poop movie. Out of all the characters from the vast history of YouTube poop, which would you want to be the main character of the film? And also, which YouTube poop character would you want as the main villain of the film? That question is from Trivia Tim 101 blog. Let's see, what would I do? What, who would be the main character? Well, I don't think there would be any one main character. I think what would happen is... I think what would happen is... The whole movie would have different stories all based around that character. Like, there'd be a story for Link, there'd be a story for Mario, there'd be a story for Zelda, perhaps, there could be a story for Billy, there could be a story for Michael Rosen. It's kind of like, uh... The main villain could be, uh... Could probably be Bowser. Or, uh... Or Ganon, from either of the CDI games. We could have two villains right there. It would probably play out like uh, Final Fantasy VI does, where... Each character has their own story that can that contributes to the story as a whole. So th that game doesn't focus on one character primarily. It focuses on all the characters in their own time when they're in the spotlight. That's how I would see it. You know, all the characters are in there, but no one YTP character is the main character. They all have their own story that somehow has to come together and make a big YTP explosion. And the immediate villains I think of are Bowser and Ganon from CDI. If you guys think of a if you guys think of a better villain, shout it out in the comment box. I think it's worth it's worth talking about. Hmm. Let's see. Again from Good for Games guy. From Good for Games guy. There it is. If you had to do the Josh all over again, would you? If that was already asked, like we all know it hasn't been, has anybody ever walked in on you jacking off to build uh, you reenacting? If yes, what was their rea what was their reaction? Well, just the two people that live with me, they know that I do these sorts of videos, so it's not out of the question for them to see to hear me filming a video, hear me talking, or maybe hear me making silly noises or silly sound effects. I mean, they know about my channel, they know what I do, so it doesn't really phase them all that much, except for sound effects that they cannot identify with, and they say to me. What the hell kind of sound were you making? What the fuck was that? I said, oh, that's just for the video. It's just part of the video. It's just what I had to do, you know? If I had to do the Josh all over again, I, I'd, do, I'd do it 15 times all over again. By about 15 ounces of those things, I'd still do it all over again. Next uh, is from Flood of Fort Vivlon. Have you ever thought about acting, especially in comedy or maybe voiceover work? Now... This question sounds redundant, but I included it because you mentioned voiceover work. I'd love to do voiceover work because if you saw in my Escape from Hossis reenactment, I got behind the camera and just recited that speech into the, into the camera microphone so that my voice really booms out of it. Because I'm, I'm not just reading off what happened. I'm not just reading off that description. I'm narrating. I'm telling a story, so you got to make it sound convincing. And I'd love to do voiceover work. I'd love to voice a cartoon character or, you know, just, yeah, I'd love, I'd love to do voiceover work. I think it'd be a lot of fun for animation or video games, things like that. It'd be a blast. I'd love to do it. This one's from Brash Up 2. How much would we have to pay you to make a public appearance or performance at, say, a university? 
Well, I'm glad you asked that. It depends on where you are and how far you are from me. I'm in New Hampshire, so if I have to take a drive there, if I can get there within driving distance, you have to pay for my gas, and if I'm staying overnight, I need a place to stay. So there's the finances for that. If I'm flying in, I need someone to. Pl I need. I need finances for my plane tickets to and from, because you know it depends on what's gonna co what it's gonna cost me to get there, really. But I don't mind doing it. For, I don't mind doing it for free just to get myself exposed. You know, I try to. I want to keep it as cheap as possible. But depending on how far how far away you are, it's gonna cost more. It's gonna cost less. It's. I have to finance myself getting there. So keep that in mind, Brash up too. If you happen to be nearby me, if you. If you're near the New Hampshire area, we'll have to talk. We'll have to, we'll have to figure something out. This one is from Juicy Plans. I noticed that in your videos, you often wear tourist shirts, like the Stockholm and Iceland ones. Which countries have you visited? And if you ever visit Denmark, I'd love to meet you, by the way. I have been to Sweden. I was there once for a week back in March of 2009. I, I went there... Uh, for a vacation from work with my stepfather who runs a hockey program over there in Sweden. We have a family who lives over in Stockholm that's like a second family to us. They're not related to us, but they're pretty much part of the family. And Iceland? Did you mention Iceland? Did you? Yes, you did. You mentioned Iceland. I was. Iceland was actually a stopping point for the flight. I flew out of uh, I flew out of Boston and, uh, la and landed in Iceland and then, and then landed in Stockholm, Sweden. I was in Iceland for about 30 minutes. So I can say I was in Iceland, but I never went outside the airport. I was only there for about 30 minutes. <laughs> I've also been to France. I was there back in 1995. I've been to San Diego. I've been to Florida a few times. I was I took a huge road trip when I uh, when I went to go see CS. I was all I was all around Massachusetts and Connecticut and Rhode Island. I was uh, I was in Los Angeles briefly. I landed in Los Angeles when I went to San Diego, uh, and I'm hoping to plan a trip to see a friend in Seattle because I've never been to Seattle before. I might have been other places, but I can't remember. Let's see. This one is from Adventure to the Unknown. If you were able to invite three people over for dinner, any three people, who would they be? and why. This can include real people like Wilford Brimley, Long Gone, Billy Mays, or TV show characters like Hank of the Hill. Or like Hank Hill. I almost said Hank of the Hill. Can you believe that? <laughs> Hank of the Hill, yeah. Uh, who would I invite to dinner? I'm not really sure that I would invite them to dinner. I'd rather just... I'd rather just, uh... I'd rather just approach them and interact with them. Like, I'd love to meet Wilford Brimley and say, I'm Wilford Brimley and I have diabetes. <laughs> I do feel better. I've eaten ice cream and apple pie. <laughs> I'd love to meet Wolf and Brimley and just say that to him. <laughs> say, I do feel better. <laughs> I'm starting to feel better now, now that I'm shooting this video. And I would have loved to have met Billy and just start screaming in his face like, Hi! Hi, Radical Fade 360 here! <laughs> the Big City Slider Station! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> I wouldn't really invite him to dinner, but I would like to interact with him and talk to him and shoot the shit, things like that. This one is from Punisher106. The user Dial F for Flippant is another reenactor. Do you consider him a threat or would you co-reenact with him? I don't consider him a threat in the slightest. I'm not really worried about him. He does his own thing. He can he can have that if he likes. I don't really watch his videos. Would I co-reenact with him? I would, but it's gonna it's gonna take it's gonna take some work. Cause uh him and him and I are him and I both uh, we both really clash in terms of our style. I'm very expressive and really out there and really really all over the place physically and verbally. Where he's kind of uh, he's still to himself when he recites the video. He's he doesn't really uh, get excited or into it like I do. So if I can somehow channel that energy out of him, if we were to meet, we could probably do something together. I don't see why not. The final question from Titanized. How long do you usually spend rehearsing a reenactment? Depends on the video. It all depends on the video. How well I know it, how well I can recite it, what I know and don't and don't know of, uh, of the whole video. Like uh, Billy watching your mom in the shower. I knew the whole thing top to bottom. I never even tried to memorize it, and I already knew it because I loved it so much. It was so funny. 
So I had it done within within two minutes. First time I put the camera down, like just off the angle, right there where the camera is now. Then there was the uh, then there was the but you gotta call now reenactment, and I knew that off the top of my head too. So I had that done in no time at all. But I did make one mistake, where I missed uh, call right now, and we'll what did he say? Where he said call right now, and we'll finish off your mom's boobs. I missed that part the first time I shot it, so I had to stop it and shoot it again. Second time, I got it right off. I, I nailed it. So that did just fine. That is all the questions. I wonder how long this video is now already. Well, thanks for all the questions, guys. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun, and I hope you really uh, enjoy my answers. And uh, hopefully uh, I don't get a lot of hate mail or a lot of downvotes on this. So I'll see you on the next reenactment.